And now, another episode of Crit Camp Gaming. Hello, everyone. Happy Monday. We are back, baby. We are back with Alice in Wonderland, Arkham Horror LCG Episode 5, playing Scenario 5 called Wild Snark Chase. Um, it has been a bit. Matt and I are refreshed from our, uh, from our separate vacations. Um, we feel pretty good. We both had some great uh, Airbnb time. Me in Cape Cod, Matt in Colorado. Uh, in f some freezing temperatures, but that's okay. Because <laughs> it was good anyway, and we were staying indoors. So there it is. Uh, and that's what you have to look forward to when you get the vaccine, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Things open up for you. Uh, but it has been a couple, uh, a couple of weeks. I'm happy, very happy to get back to this. Um, again, this is probably in my, my top three games uh, that I love playing, I, I think, since we started. Um, easily like becoming one of my favorites and sort of staying up there just because like the game is just so good. And um, I know we say it uh, at the beginning of every single one of these episodes, but this particular fan-made campaign for Alice in Wonderland has been treating us pretty good uh, story-wise uh, and mechanic-wise. I think I'm, I'm, we're really, really happy to get back to it. Matt, how's your, your two weeks been? Have you been uh, playing anything do you want to talk about the key rack in a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> sure. Yeah. The two weeks have been great. Like, I mean, getting that vacation, stepping away. I mean, for those of you who can do it, who are able to do it, if you haven't, and you've been like stuck at home, just go, go rent some place for another night. If you can afford it, just go see something other than the same four walls. It's great. I mean, I, I love it. I've been trying to do it like, you know, once every four months, if I can swing it and, just taking a couple of days off of work, it makes such a big difference, man. So um, that's been great. But as far as games have gone, it's been a lot of fun. Um, got to do a lot of stuff with like kind of my new little end of COVID, mid COVID, whatever you want to call it, gaming group. So we've been playing all kinds of stuff from like Aeon's End to Unmatched, to Dice Thrones, to all kinds of things. But um, yeah, that's all been a lot of fun and uh, we'll continue and Finally, I guess the key racking, um, the adventure mode for um, Keyforge. Yep. Was is cool. So I mean, I can't believe how quickly somebody got a mod up into TTS for it. Um, yeah, I'm I'm like super surprised how fast that came together. That's awesome. It was crazy. It was really crazy. And so uh, kudos to whomever it was that created that and got it up. Um, I ended up doing like a single player experience, which you know I've been talking a little bit about in the Discord, which was kind of uh, disappointing how effective it, it was for me. Mm -hmm. so, like my deck was just without a lot of a lot of effort, ended up like crushing it. I think I decided like turn four after going back and thinking through it. Um, but what's interesting is, is I played it twice yesterday, three player with um, a couple other friends, and it was like a way different experience. First of all, it took forever. And Interesting. That's kind of cool. Okay. It took an eternity. Well, it was it kind of like almost past that point. It was just there was so much stuff to manage and so many extra cards that Kiraken would draw, and then because you have to do it after everyone's turns, it was almost yeah. like a bit overwhelming time wise. Um, we got crushed the first time three players, and then we crushed it. Well, no, I won't say we crushed it. It got kind of close. We stabilized. It kind of felt like playing Aeon's End, where it felt like you're getting completely walked on. And then all of a sudden we stabilized. Oh almost, yeah, yeah, I know what uh, you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, or is that the one? The one that only only lets somebody play two cards a turn. The enemy, Amber. Is that right? Uh, I can't remember. So yeah, it just completely like shut down the overpowered giant pile of cards that the Kiwakin was trying to play. But it was cool. M my heart tells me it's kind of like Arkham, where like the sweet spot is like two or three players. So in that game, it'd probably be two. The middle number as opposed to solo or four. Like time right. wise, I really want to try it two player. Um, but it is really neat. It's awesome that they did it. It's awesome they did it for free. Um, I sprung for a thirty dollar printed out version of it that should be here in like a week or two. I saw that on Discord, yeah. and I, I love it. You have you have always told me about stuff like this where where um, people come out with with digital um, sort of download kind of things 
that there's always somebody really like the like right in the beginning will put it up for sale um so that you can just print it um and i was like when you when i saw you like like looking for it in discord of like I was like, I'll give it a day or two. It'll be there. Like something, something will happen in a day or two. And it, like, lo and behold, somebody was like, "Oh, you mean this?" <laughs> yep, yep. So thanks to Drew eighty one for that for throwing that in there. Yeah, I'll, I'll let you guys all know. I'll throw some pictures up once I get it. It's, but uh, yeah, it'll be cool to have a physical copy of it. And, and I hope they do that for it, the next one too, because I know there's at least one more coming out. There is it, one more coming out. And and what's funny is like I I haven't really read much about these, but all I know is that the next one. Um, you'll be able to move like from location to location and yeah. do things, and like and Arkham. and yeah, and that sort of idea like it just reminds me of like it, it makes it look more like Arkham to me, where like your 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 Arkad is now moving through space <laughs> yeah. and doing things. So I'm curious to see how that goes. Um, it's been a little bit rough. Um, Chris uh, is actually out on the road this week, so I was out all at, all last week. Matt was out all last week. Chris is now out this week, um, and it's particularly painful because we got um, we got a set of dark tidings. We got a display box that we ordered from Canada, our our friends from the north, because of the yeah. U.S. embargo. It dropped in Chris's hands last Thursday, but I wasn't around, and now we tried to play it yesterday with like at a street, like just to do a quick stream, just so we can open one deck each. And just yeah. see, because we've been trying to do this completely spoiler free. I haven't been watching people play Dark Tidings. I haven't been looking at the cards. Um, yeah. And it's really, really tough. All I want to do is open up a pack and see new stuff, like the discovery of it. We were so pumped to do it yesterday. Chris's internet was crapped out the entire day. So we couldn't do it. So now we still have an unopened display case and now he's on the road. So I won't get to see those decks until he comes back. So you won't be able to see the decks that we have. And it's it's like extra painful because I'm like, if I had at least one deck open, I would have streamed Keyforge this week, like doing some key rack and stuff and all that other stuff. But like now I'm like, ah, I'm going to not play Keyforge to not spoil myself. I'm not going to watch Keyforge to do anything. I know this is not his Keyforge stream, everybody. This is Alice in Wonderland. We're going to play some Arkham uh, in a second. But this is what's been going on for us in the last week. Like, it's been a lot of Keyforge stuff. We've been waiting a long time for this set. It drops, and we get something early, and we still can't play it. So we're going to play it when everybody plays it, I guess, <laughs> is, 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 uh, is what's happening. Um, also on schedule, um, yeah, Chris is out this week. Um, I have a busy week of freelance, and also I was telling Matt right before the stream, I am um, beginning to start uh, some renovations on my house. Um, I'm getting a new roof, and I'm getting a new back deck because um, it rotted out because we get a lot of rain here in Tennessee, and the previous owner didn't build anything right. Um, so I am going to be sort of, um, I think my streaming schedule... I'm not going to stream tomorrow. I have some deliveries and some guys working here that I need to keep an eye out on. But I will probably stream on Thursday. So I will let you know what I will play. It won't be Keyforge. It will be something else. Um, and with that, uh, Matt, are you ready to play? <laughs> mm -hmm. Let's do it. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. So let's switch over to this screen right here um, as I do a quick recap of where we've been. I'm not going to do the full recap. Um, let's just start off from the last mission. Um, if you want to know what happened to us in the previous thing, all of our uh, VODs are on YouTube right now. You can go check them out. Um, but I believe the last mission, we were in a castle, um, the Hearts Castle. The Queen and the King of Hearts lived there. She was furious with us because she thought that we may have eaten one of her tarts. Um, and so what we were trying to do was scour the castle for clues, go to different rooms, um, you know, try to avoid the executioner and other things to find clues to find out who um, who ate the tarts. We find this dude, um, I think in the garden, the knave of hearts with crumbs all over his face. And this is where the big twist of the scenario was, where he was like, you can't turn me in. Actually, what you need to do is infuriate the queen with me um, to, to fight back the shadows that were invading the castle. So it was a really, really interesting twist where we're like, we were trying to find the culprit, found the culprit, and then we actually had to team up with the culprit to uh, enrage the queen 
um, so that her emotions were so high that suddenly, like, it basically warded the castle uh, from from the shadows, um, which was was pretty pretty rad. Um, at the very end of it, uh, we got thanks from the Queen of Hearts. We totally sold out our boy, uh, <laughs> the knave. <laughs> And uh, and and for for his service, Matt got the ex- executioner's axe in his hand. Um, so it's in his deck, everybody, and it's pretty rad. Um, I actually, I'm not like we actually looked at it and we were like, oh, we don't really need this, but sure, we'll take it. <laughs> and yeah. uh, and I think that's pretty much it. And then uh, after we left the castle, we um, we came upon the Griffin and the giant sea turtle. I think who were like really sad and like looking at their own reflections or something like that. And I believe we decided not to help them um, and to leave them be. Um, and now that has done something, which we will see, I'm sure, in this scenario. So if you, uh, if you like that kind of story and, and, and um, all these different themes of Alice in Wonderland and how they interact with Arkham, which is really, really well written, I highly suggest you um, watch all of our previous videos or just watch like the beginning of one of the previous videos and you can get this previously on type of thing uh, throughout the whole scenario. <laughs> Matt, anything uh, anything I'm missing? Um, looking back over it. No, I, I, think that, I think that pretty much sums it up, yeah. Okay, cool. Where do, where do we want to go from here? Um, well... I guess we can follow our new routine of trying to draw our hands immediately. Ah, first. right, right. Nice reminder, because I Let's always forget. Yeah. All right. Let's see what we got. Oh, I got a mouse, ineffable truth. I kind of don't want anything except for this tarot. Ah, uh, bro, do I keep my bury them deep in my opening hand? Oof. It's hard to get I, rid of. I know, I know. I have two catastrophes also but i need i need to find a weapon i was gonna say you need a weapon to actually bury them deep yeah you know what we've been doing okay on xp yeah i'll, I'll put it back in there and if it, if it comes back it comes back but we need okay. to find some weapons. all right so i didn't i didn't uh i mulliganed some crap and i got some crap back um luckily i have this tarot card i have I forgot that I have Empower Self. So this is from the, the upgrades I had from the last round, which is really interesting, except I wanted, if I was going to get one, I, w- I would have liked to have gotten the book one um, <laughs> in my opening hand. This one's the foot one. Um, and I got Winging It. So. Hey, no, no, the book one is, oh, I guess it does give you plus two. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. like I would have liked to get plus two in my book and like right. just sweep, sweep clues from high shrouds. That would have been nice. Okay. Yeah. Well, getting the four is nice. Yeah, I did a full mulligan. I didn't end up getting a weapon, but I did get Jessica and I did get a rabbit's foot. So hopefully that'll help me stay afloat until. Oh we yeah, have I feel like you've gotten Jessica in your opening hand for the last like three scenarios, which is pretty awesome, actually. Yeah, she's great. I mean, she's just solid. I can just take an infinite amount of like health damage. Yeah, no, it's perfect. All right, uh, shall I read the story? I guess. Good. Okay. Uh, let me get some ambient music playing in the background here. Okay. Uh, scenario 2D, Wild Snark Chase. The forest around you grows darker and more tangled with each step. It reminds you of the witch-haunted woods on the outskirts of Arkham in several respects. Each echoing sound might be some eerie creature stalking your steps or another of Garathnica's shadows hungering your essence. Your worries escalate as, you, as the clear path you've been following dead ends on a bramble patch. You scan the tangle for any sign of a way through or around without any promise. Your eyes return to the path you arrived by, only to find that the forest has now swallowed it without any trace. It's almost as if the woods themselves were actively working to confuse you, like many of Wonderland's other denizens. Now, at a loss uh, for direction, you stumble forward through the rough terrain as long as the fading light allows. Each passing moment gradually amplifies your fear of being ambushed out of the darkness. You press on until finally, at the foot of the gnarled tree, you make a campfire from the fallen branches to wait out the night. Not an hour into your rest, you are awoken by the clanging of a bell and the clamor of nearby voices. You rouse yourself from sleep and find that your campfire is somehow missing through a purring chuckle directs... Um, well, though a purring chuckle directs your attention above your head, the Cheshire Cat... Holds the burning logs in two paws, waving them like signal lanterns. Noticing that you've awoken, the cat grins and sets the fire back down before disappearing once more. A crowd of ten figures rushes eagerly into the clearing around the tree, only to stop with groans and sighs. 
Uh, "'Tisn't a snark at all,' a proud-looking man cries, waving his bell for attention. "'Those snarks are handy for striking a light. This one's been lit by someone or another.'" The hunters seat themselves around your fire with several shows of exhaustion. At least it wasn't Boo Jim, a uh, man with, baker's hat, with a baker's hat mutters as he wipes the sweat from his brow, thankfully. We'd all have vanished away were that the case, the bellman retorts, seating himself beside you. He looks you, he looks you over for a moment as if he notices you and stands once more. By chance, would you also be hunting a snark? You shake your head and explain that you've gotten lost in the woods here. What luck? We're as lost as well. Uh, we're lost as well. He exclaims with a smile, but a snark's the cure for that. A snark is useful for a great many things, and finding one's way surely might be one of them. You're quite welcome to join the search, pending your profession. You look to the hunters and see a banker, a butcher, a beaver, and others all with jobs beginning with B. You think for a moment and tell the bellman that you could <laughs> you could be considered a bodyguard, and he leads his fellows in cheer. Just what we chiefly need. We'll find the snark in no time at all. Now, the Tulji wood may be as dense as the dunce and thicker than thieves, but we'll find the snark in spite of it. All right. All right. Uh, um, I guess to the agenda and the act. Uh, but yeah, for the most part, there's not a lot to talk about here. Okay, cool. Agenda 1A with the three doom threshold, twas br uh, brillig. Despite the enthusiasm of the bellman and his party, you have some reservations about searching uh, through these woods in the dark. You get the unsettling feeling that as you search for the snark, something far stranger and far stronger hunts for you. Action! Take one physical trauma and one mental trauma and reside. You break away from the search and hope to find the trail out. So we can do this anytime. Um, the Act 1A, Babes in the Woods. Onward to the snark, the bellman shouts as the hunters scatter into the Tulji Wood. Search high and low, for a snark may lurk in any tree or hollow. Once we've gotten our bearings, it's as good as found. You're not convinced it'll be that easy, or if the creature even resides in these woods at all, but some reconnaissance can't hurt. Investigators at any location may activate the bellman's abilities. Action. If there is no horror on your location, spend two clues as a group, place a horror token on that location from the token bank. Objective. When there are six revealed Tulji Wood locations, advance. All right. Okay. So the couple things then touch on is uh, the Jabberwock starts outside. It says it starts here next to Genedek, so I guess that's kind of a little like mini spoiler for us. Okay. But otherwise, um, it looks like he bails in and out. So that must be the awful thing that twas Brillig. Right. Um, and uh, otherwise, we also have this deck here, the story deck. Um, so this story deck uh, has one guaranteed card on the bottom, and then. The other four are taken from two different stacks and randomized, so it can be a little different each time. Okay. But uh, what we're going to see here is, is that this is something we're going to need to remember. We may need help remembering this, guys. So at the point in time we trigger the Bonnet Maker's Trail, um, I mean, I guess we can read the little story blurb, but we trigger it when there's exactly three locations without horror. Meaning currently, right now, if no other locations come out for some reason, then that means once we get two horror on locations. Um, but... Uh, that's, I guess, whose trail we're following right now? The Bonnet Makers? I guess we're following the Bonnet Makers trail. Right. There's actually three locations without horror. I'll flip this card. Okay. Interesting. And then we have the Bellman here, uh, who is an asset. So when we're, when we're at the location, we can, we can trigger him. You get plus one mind. Um, the reaction, when a card effect would force you to lose any amount of resources, exhaust the Bellman. And deal one damage to him, you ignore that part of the effect. When the card effect would force you to discard any amount of cards, we hand exhaust the bellman and deal one horror to him, you can ignore that part of the effect. So he will take damage or horror to prevent us from doing something bad. And you actually, if you look at the act deck, you can actually use him from any location. Oh, any location? Yeah, that's what the act deck says, is that he, he breaks the normal rule. Oh, at oh, any location. Okay, got it, got you. Um... But yeah, otherwise, this is where we started. The Tum Tum Tree. All right, Wonderland. Told you would. The perfect spot for resting and standing in thought. The bellman rallies the snark hunters from the tree, encouraging them with the loud clanging of his bell. I'm going to flip it. Uh, two shroud, two clue. Um, action. Search all play areas and out of play areas for the Jabberwock, including the victory display. Including the victory display. Interesting. Ready it and move it to the Tum Tum Tree in your campaign log under Fragments of Alice Record Courage. 
The signs of Matra Sack are etched into the lone tree. Wait, this is crazy. So this just like comes out on us right now? Oh, no, no. We can do an action. Oh, we do an action well, to do it and get courage. Got it, courage. got it, got it, got it. Yeah, yeah so we call them out. Um, okay. Well, uh, yeah. Otherwise, it looks like we're just looking for clues to mark locations of horror. And uh, I guess we'll see what else is out there. We're hunting a snark. All right. Uh, um, I'm going to put four cups out because the game begins and it was in my opening hand. Um, what? Uh, do you have a sweet first play that you want to do? No, I might I might be digging for in my deck a little bit for weapons. So I might just put out... I'm definitely going to put out the rabbit's foot. I might put out Jessica, but I'm going to probably draw a card um, to just see if I can find weapons. Yeah, I'm going to be drawing cards too because I need assets. Okay, okay. Well, then um, I don't know if it matters who goes first then. Well, okay, go for it. Uh, I'll go first. I'm going to draw a card. All right, that's not the asset I needed. <laughs> a lot of evade that's happening right now in my yep. hand. Um, I'm going to draw another card. Jesus. I'm going to draw another card. This is ridiculous. Okay, I finally got something. I didn't remember that you got winging it in your deck. What's up? I didn't remember you getting winging it in your deck. This is like from the very opening draft. I've never... I've never actually gotten it. <laughs> okay, I was like, I forgot you could even have that. I That's forgot crazy. I even had it too, because I'm like looking at it, I'm like, this is really it's weird. Like, is that, I, okay. okay, well, um, so I'm I'm definitely gonna throw down a rabbit's foot. Okay. I should probably throw down Jessica just so she can start healing, and then at least I'll be more effective at fighting things. But sure. I'm, I'm gonna draw first. Let me. Yeah. Second hand draw. You catastrophe. Okay. okay. So I guess third action I'll put her down and that should hopefully be enough um to do that. Um I'm I'm just gonna put one on her because I'm gonna declare the end of my turn, so she's gonna heal yeah. one. Totally going to one. But yeah, uh, I think that's I guess it. Okay. So no enemies. No enemies, so we'll do upkeep. Okay. Ooh, I got my Empower Self book. That feels good. We're going to go do Doom 1 of 3, and then we'll do some bad cards. All right. Cognitive Dissonance, Paradox Flaw, Revelation. If you do not control any clues, it gains Surge. So it gains Surge. Um, oh, yeah, and then this is otherwise. So it just gets Surge, right? Okay. All right, Curiouser and Curiouser, put put it into play in your threat area as an additional cost to investigate. If there are more clues on any other location than your location, take a horror. Test mine three. If you succeed, discard it. Okay. This is better that I got it than you do. Oh, no, I think it's probably better that I get that one because I don't ever investigate. Oh, no, but, if like, I... I can test it and get rid of it. Um, yeah. And also, the location that we're at has the most clues, so we're okay right now, right? You're fine there. Yeah, well, I think in the past I've gotten this one, we just left it on me. Because the clues I do get, I just cheat out. I don't investigate. I grab them with my shovel or my bird. Oh, that's right. That's right. Disjunction. Discard any number of cards from your hand or from play whose total cost is equal to or greater than the location of Shroud. If you cannot take one, I have to do it. Shroud is two. So from my hand or in play, um, I have a lot of really good cards in my hand. And... I mean, if I'm going to be blunt, I think I might just get rid of you, Catastrophe. I mean, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Dynamite Blast. Dynamite Blast. I mean, it's, it's so expensive, and it's very situational, so it's fine. Yeah. I think that's the choice here, unfortunately. Yeah. I can also get cards back with the Oryx Star, so. Yeah, There's that's true. All right. Um, well, that wasn't so bad. Uh, so do you want to go hunting? Do you want to... Um, guess how do you want to handle this do you want to start are you still digging i am not digging um i can throw down the empower self and the flashlight um and try to get rid of this curiouser and curiouser um i'm a, I'm a five to a three test on it seems pretty good okay okay well i definitely didn't want to explore and potentially reveal more clues until you figured out what you're doing with curiouser and curiouser yeah so then 
I'll let you gang go first. Figure out what you want to do there, and then we'll go from there. Okay. Let me uh, let me just try to test this. Uh, this five, two, or three. I have five because of four cops. Everybody. So five, two, or three. Test. Uh, that is a minus two because the Jabberwock is not in play. Um, so it. I succeed. Mm-hmm. Cool. Uh, second action, I'm going to play Flashlight. Uh, third action, I'm going to play Empower Self on one of my arcane slots. That's it. And um, I'm going to first action draw. It was all of my resources. Well, that could have come out of work. Okay, well, it was a good thing you played Jessica then. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, fair. Um, I'm broke now, so I guess uh, I guess dig second action and <laughs> third action will probably be a dollar, so I can turn on you catastrophe if I need it. Yeah, or play a few things. What a rough, slow start for us. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. So no enemies. Um, we'll do upkeep. Okay. All right. Uh, a, uh, Doom is two of three, and we will do more bad cards. All right. Oh, I got I got what what I was talking about in the beginning. The Griffin and the Mock Turtle surge. Put the Griffin and the Mock Turtle into the play next to the agenda deck. After an enemy makes an attack of opportunity, that enemy makes a second attack then you discard this that's pretty rough yeah we need to not forget that because if we do on the wrong enemy yeah i'm gonna put it here and then i'll put a copy up by the agenda as well um dang dude that's rough okay and that was surge so oh no i just i just effed up my uh my camera everybody (laughs) hold on let me let me do a real quick reset of the camera. Uh, okay. Why didn't... Okay, that didn't actually reset the camera. God dang it. Tabletop sim. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> All right. Real bad card. Uh, the Jub Jub Bird. 3-2-3 three, three, Hunter Aloof. At the start of the enemy phase, if Jub Jub Bird is ready and unengaged, it attacks each investigator at its location in player order. Holy crap. Start of enemy phase if the Jub Jub is ready and unengaged. Okay. So, so it's aloof, from- but it could hit you. It, it'll hit you, but only if it starts in your location. So that's yeah. not too bad. Okay. We could always move out or something. Okay. Um, and and it is, it's not on you because it's aloof. Oh, right, right, right. Um... I got Harold going in circles. I have to advance the agenda. I don't have a choice. Yep. Wow, we just lost a turn. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. The other- so the agenda will advance. Uh, agenda 1B, uh, an awful burbling. The Tolji wood reverberates with a horrible noise, an indescribable hissing, gurgling, roaring sound. You don't have to ask what sort of monster could make that noise as you see it hurtling through the woods towards you. It is an enormous, loathsome thing with fiery eyes and razor-sharp claws that rend trees apart as it passes. Fear courses through your veins, and you have scant uh, seconds to decide whether to run or to fight. Search all play areas and out-of-play areas, including the victory display for the Jabberwock. Move it to the lead investigator's location. Shuffle the remainder of the set-aside Jabberwocky encounter set into the encounter deck. Okay. And now Agenda 2A, which has a 5 Doom Threshold, uh, a Menoxum Foe. Um, it's a Jabberwock, the bellman cries, and rings his bell a wild alarm. The warning doesn't help you in the slightest, however, as you are already in the throes of battle with it. The monster swoops and vanishes in its wild attacks, making you wonder just where and when it will strike next. You try to keep up the search while accounting for this added menace. The Jabberwock's attack has, been, has drawn the attention of much darker beings. Uh, and it's the same action. Take a physical and mental trauma, resign. Okay, so he's only going to stick around for one turn. 
he gets worse during the enemy phase. So that means if we can evade him, he'll go away. Yep. He will keep all damage on him. I need to evade him now. Wait, hold on. Massive vitality alert generally is plus one damage to enemies. They have to disengage the armor phone and move it. It's yeah. Down the neck. It, so where does it say it keeps the damage? At the end of the round, disengage it from all investigators, move it, and all tokens on it. Oh, and all tokens on it. Okay, like damage tokens. I see, I see. Okay. Yep. Um, okay, well, uh, that was my bad card that led to that. So um, I can try to evade this. I mean, like, your stat's a little higher for it, but you also need to start getting clues for us. Yep. So I can go for it. Um, I can unexpected courage, and I can always force a you catastrophe to make it happen if need be. So maybe that's what I do. I, mean, I also have this blinding light. Um, okay. So so if I cast the spell on him, uh, I'm a five to a three, uh, and if I succeed, I do two damage to him as well. End of him. Yeah. Okay. So the the question is, are we? We're just going to take the hit from the Jub Jub Bird, like one of us, both of us, neither of us. Because that's the other problem here is like we can oh, move right. up. Clues. Because I, basically, I have a Time Warp Brand in my hand, but I'm broke because of the. Right. Anyway. So I'm going to start building up for that. Um, I don't mind taking a hit from him because I have basically infinite health. So I could just sit here and hold him here. But okay. for you, that one physical damage can be a lot. Yeah, that's going to be a lot, yeah. So, yeah, basically, do you want me to go first and evade the Jabberwock so you have more actions? I mean, you could even get, like, Clue Clue leave if you want. I mean, that would be pretty sweet, you know, if you feel like you can evade this guy. I mean, what I would do is I he's a, he is a three. He does have alert, but I can throw in my Unexpected Courage, so I'd be going to a five. Okay, five. okay. And then I could always you Catastrophe if I really need to, but... Yeah, let's uh, let's do that. Okay. So then I'll pitch an unexpected courage. I'll be up two. That does mean how many of those um, tokens have become four? Is right there? Just one. Okay. And then yeah, I'll. Uh, I'm just gonna go for it. Yep. I fail. You so fail. that he hits me for one and one. Because he's alert. Oh gosh. This does get returned to my hand. I do rabbit split. Yep. Bring out graveyard ghoul. <laughs> Sweet. Okay. 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 Um, Things got interesting. So, I think. Wow. Wow. I can one two punch graveyard ghouls and try to evade him again. And when That's you evade him again, I can I can throw you my empower self foot. well i think if i attempt to evade him again and i fail i'll just use catastrophe well that that'll leave that alive then though because i don't have money let yeah. me just try evading him again okay um minus half the doom on the current agenda rounded up zero right yes so Sweet. then he is evaded Jabberwock is evaded. He is massive. That's why I sit in their own location, guys. Um, so last action will be... What am I at? Four, five. I hit that for one. Are you I guess punch I punch this just... dude? I really don't want to spend money on it, but I might have to. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, what up, Ferrum? says i missed the last session but see that uh your heads are in fact still attached that is correct it's true god i really don't want to spend one two punch on this i know I really don't want to i could just take that hit the thing is is that'll put me low on on horror dude or okay fine it's yeah it's scary uh, i really don't want to do this one i'm doing it so i'm swinging at it right now for six against three so i'm up three I fail. You fail the first one, yep. 
Oh no! Um, if you you can only hit him again if you succeed. Oh no! Oh god, no! Okay, so things are going really terribly for me all of a sudden. Yeah. Uh, all right. I guess I'm going to attempt to just punch it. Wait, no, that was it. that was you. You did two evades and a and a one-two punch. You're right, because one-two punch is going to hit for twice. Okay. Um, go ahead. Just. Just do your stuff and leave. I'll take this. You don't. You don't want me to try to evade something, or well, oh, I have okay. to engage them, don't I, to evade them? No, well, no, no, not not with your spell. Well, wait, hold on, hold on. The way that's worded, evade. Yeah, you would. You would have to blinding light. Like, can I blinding light something that's on you, you or or that that. I, I know. Well, I know you can fight something that's not on you. Um, can you do an evasion attempt against something that's not on you? That actually has not come up. Let me double check. Let me double check right here. I have not, because um, I know that there are ways to bypass it. Like there's the five cost survivor card that auto evades things, but that's yeah. not creating a test that auto evades. Yeah. So um, take to evade an enemy. Age investigator. Automatically evades one of our enemies. Engage action um, can only perform, perform an evade action against enemy engaged with him or her. Yeah, you actually can. You cannot blinding like that. Okay. Well. Wait, I'm I can not, or cannot? You cannot. Okay. Dang. Okay. Um, okay. So. So do you wow. want me to just scoop, scoop clues and leave? You're going to get hit for... Jeez. The physical damage doesn't matter to me. Yeah. It's the horror that matters. Um, yeah. And the Griffin and the Griffin and the Mock Turn only happen for acts of opportunity. Um, right, which I'm not triggering right now. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. I think scoop some clue and leave. We're already slow. We're already um, really slow. Okay. Do not forget the Bellman. Oh. Oh my God. Oh, you could have you you could have you could you have used them on your on your um paranoia? Yeah. Which actually uh, would it would have, have only saved you two, but yeah, which is exactly how much I need to play your catastrophe. Shall we? Um, shall we do that? <laughs> I totally forgot about it. Um, I guess not. I'm just gonna deal with it this time around. I, I mean, I, I should have done it. I forgot that that's what he does. I need to remember that. Yeah. Um, just go ahead. Go ahead and, and grab a couple clues and leave or something. I can I can take this this turn. Okay. So I'm a four to a two right now. Um, four to a two. I can exhaust and power self, or I can use a flashlight. Um, I'm going to... Yeah, let's just let's investigate. Use um, power self. Um, so I'm a six to a two for for an investigate. Uh, that is a zero. So I'm gonna get one clue. Uh, then I'm gonna use a flashlight charge, and I'm a four to a zero. And I get it because this is minus four. Yep. And I'm gonna move. Uh, two. What do we have? We have the wave. The Field of Chasms, the Narrow Valley, and the Mound of Crags. I think we're going to go to this one. So, inexplicably, um, the wood parts of the small clearing where a sundial sits in the circle of grass. All right, four clues, two shroud. Uh, action, if there are no horror and no clues on the wave, uh, place a horror token on the wave from the token bank. And any uh, A number of different nests clump together under the sundial. All right. So this is a secondary way to put a horror on it. So we can either do it the official way, which is to put down two clues, or we can do this other way. Yeah. And we have revealed two Tolji Wood locations. Okay. Um, All right, so enemy, enemy phase. phase. This thing whacks me for one. Yep. Go on, Jessica. Um, and, and then, then the Graveyard then Ghouls hits you for one and one. One and one. Okay. Right. All right. And then, and then now this Jabberwock. Well, technically, we upkeep first. Oh, okay. 
and that readies him. Okay. And then the round will end. Okay. So then he goes up by the agenda. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. We uh, doom one of five, and then we will bad card. Bandersnatch. Okay. Four, four, three, Wonderland creature, hunter, spawn the furthest location from all investigators. If Bandersnatch moved during the enemy phase, it does not attack. Um, Force, when an, when an investigator enters Bandersnatch location, it readies, engages, and attacks. Dude, that is an them. interesting. That is an interesting creature. Yeah, yeah. So you can put him anywhere except the location you're at, I believe, because they're all equally distant. Because right? they're all equally distant. So let's put them just over here, in this narrow valley. Okay. Now. Okay. Um. And I got vanished away. I guess I take the cat. Okay, you take cat and surge. Or surge. So he is going to go up here. Yep. After the last clue is discovered from any location, each investigator may draw one card. Oh, so when you clear all the clue, even if I'm not at your location. Yeah, dude, you get to draw a card, dude. Okay, yeah, we sick. um, we yeah, we vaped with this caterpillar, dude. He's our friend. Oh boy, here's <laughs> my surge. Um, the last one. Test foot three. If you fail, put it in the play neglect area. Your attacks cannot deal more than one damage. Can't discover more than one clue. Discard looking glass swamp. Ooh, uh, this is rough. That does suck. Yeah, this one oh. sucks. Uh, you were a three to a three. But if you fail by exactly one, you can succeed from cat. Yeah, the only thing I can pitch to is you catastrophe, which I really don't want to pitch to it. Um, I think I'm just gonna go for it. All right. That is minus one, so you lose by exactly one. <sighs> yeah, I'm just gonna do it. It can save me a lot of time yep. later. Yep, all right. Um, okay. Yeah, I think it was worth it. Okay. All right, well, that's uh, that's that. Um, I guess let me see, let me go first, yep. just in case things go horribly again. Sure. Um, God, I just needed to not lose my money there. Yeah. All right. This has three health too. Man, I can't even. Uh... Okay. I need to evade this. I may need to evade this. You this is just uh, an off scenario. Or I just punch it to death with my fist. That's three and three punches, and then you're gonna hit get hit by the other dude. This guy, his damage again doesn't mean anything. Oh yeah, this because of Jessica. Damage. Yeah. Um, but the problem is, I'm gonna be in a location with a bandersnatch without a weapon equipped. So that's what I do have to worry about. So I think I might actually have to evade this dude. Okay. Um, I'm going to evade. I'll be a plus one. I'm just gonna try it once at this point because I have rabbit's foot. Yep. Minus one. So, so you're exactly equal. Which is good. because Which is good, has... yeah. Okay. So evaded. Awesome. Perfect. Um, now, the question is, do I come to where you're at, or do I go somewhere else? Probably. That's up to you. Let's head out to the field of chasms. Yeah, let's head down to the field of chasms. All right, so the tall grass forms rings around rocky openings in the ground, each leading down separately. My second action, walk down here. If there's no horror here, discard two assets from among all investigators' hands at this location. There's horror from the token bank. Okay, so I could actually do that um, in a turn or two. All right, so um, last action, as boring as it is, I have to get a dollar so I can equip okay. these weapons. So my turn ends, Jessica heals one. Sweet. Um, and I'm up. All right. What up, Volps? All right. So at, what 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 is this here? If there are no horror, no clues, you can place. You can spend action. Okay. So I should really just start scooping clue here. Mm. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have a lot of stuff in my hands. 
Um, I should just play my free arcane studies. Um, but do I want to equip anything else just in case? Um, Alright, I will play my arcane studies. That's free. Uh, and I probably, you know, what was that? Don't forget winging it also, because if you get it in the discard pile, then you can get two clues out later. Oh, let's do that. Let's play win. Let's play winging it. Winging it. Um, all right. So now it's a one shroud, and I am a four, four to a one. That seems pretty okay. Come on, did it do it? There you go. Oh my god. Fail. The amount of minus fours we. I see a minus four come up. Did you not get that? Uh, yeah, I got, I got it. Yeah, so I failed. Um, dang. The amount of minus fours we've drawn have been, like, I know there's another one in there now. Yeah. Well, you can now winging it again if you want. Um. Oh yeah. Let me winging it again from my discard pile, and then it gets shuffled into my deck. Um. Uh. So that is a. I'm a four to a one. I'm gonna do empower self. Yeah. So I'm a six to a one here on this one. Okay. Minus three, so I get two clues. Grab those, and then that gets And I will in. shuffle this into my deck. Okay. Yeah, winging it is pretty great. Yeah, I like it. Um, and then you have, what, one left? Um, yeah, I played Arcane Studies. I investigated. No, then I played winging it, then I played winging it again. So that's it. Um, well, let's see then. All right, so this guy, enemy phase, right? Well, ready? He already, uh, um, okay. Hello, Matt, Matt, hello. Hello, Matt, hello. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could I could see you moving stuff around okay. on Discord, but um, your your Skype audio feed was getting all weird. That's weird. Okay. All right. Well, let me know that again. Uh, yeah. So I'm just moving this in here, this in here, um, and uh, yeah, that should be that. Okay. Cool. Okay. Upkeep. So. All right. Uh, Doom goes up to two, a five. And then we do bad cards again. And I got another Bandersnatch. So. Ugh, God. Okay. okay. We're getting black mirrored. Uh, I think it goes either here or here. Yep. Uh, I guess we'll just put it there. All right. Claws the catch. Test with three. This test gets plus one. And Peril of Jabberwock is in play. If you fail, take one damage and lose two resources. Um, okay. So I'm going to test that. Test and remember, you have the Bellman just in case. Yeah, that's what. So it's a minus one. Minus one. So I'm gonna fail, and I am gonna use the Bellman because I desperately need my money right now. So that's gonna put a damage on him. Yep. Um, but and I'll take one on Jessica also. Okay. Okay. So um. Yeah. I guess we are now then on our turns. Okay. I'm going to. God, I'm about to get. Well, I'm not gonna get dogpiled. I mean, I will, but this is the thing that'll hit me. This won't. So basically, I, I was just gonna go get two bucks and equip my time warm brand. That seems so probably start. something you need to do. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna get hit, and it's gonna suck. But I think I have to do it. Okay. So uh, I'm gonna get one, two, and then spend five to play a good sword. Um. And then my turn will end healing Jessica for one. Okay. Um, is there anything I can do to help with what's happening here? I mean, yes. And and what it could be is have the Bandersnatch walk on to you, then you evade it next turn. Okay. So basically that would be a huge help to me. Yeah. For one turn. Okay. So um, I think just get it, basically you, you getting the clues, I would say go clue, clue, and then do the action on location to put a horror down, and that'll be enough. Okay. And then, I, and then all I yeah all I have to do is evade the bandersnatch, and then go somewhere else. Yeah. Okay. 
Right, right. And then I can start taking them after that. Okay. All right. So let's uh, let's let's get uh, let's investigate. Um, it is. I'm a four to a two. I'm gonna play empower or um, exhaust empower self. So I'm a six to a two. Zero. I get a clue. Uh, I'm not going to mess around. I'm just going to use a flashlight charge to be a four to a zero. Minus two. I'm going to get that last one. Got it. And I'm going to do the action here. If there are no horror, no clues, place a horror token on the wave. Okay. Now, does anything happen when we put that on? And thank you so much for the resub, Dragon Gut. I'm going to put one more out for it to trigger the bottom maker's trail. Okay. One more. Is this one? This is what we're talking about, everybody. Force, if there are exactly three locations without horror on them, flip this and put it into play. Okay. Okay. So we are now on the enemy phase. Yes, right? we are now in the enemy phase. So this starts, he swings at me for one. Yep. This hunts onto me, swinging at me for one on one. Okay. Um, this then will go on me. On to he does not hit you. Oh, yeah, because if he moves, he doesn't... Yeah, yep. Right. Uh, but he he does um, jump on me, though, right? Or no? Yes, he does. Yeah, he does yep. physically engage. Okay. Yep. And the other one moves down. And then all that. Um, oh, oh, hold on, the caterpillar. Uh, you discovered the last clue. Oh, so we both draw um, a card before the upkeep, yeah. Unless we, unless we don't want to, but I, I'm going to take it right now. Um, nice. Ooh, if I draw a card... I might have to discard a card. Um, do you care about discarding a card? Is there like a thing that you... Not really. Um, I would throw the scrying away maybe, or this empower self. Um, okay. Actually, I think that empower self... Actually, this is pretty yeah. rad for the, for the amount of evading we're trying to do. Um, one of these two, like either the one of the two evade cards. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Yeah, let me but draw the card. I'll draw the card. Okay. okay. All right, upkeep. Oh, and then what happens to the caterpillar? Discard it. Uh, no, he doesn't get. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Yep, he, does, he gets he does. discarded. Okay. Okay. Cool. Got it. All right, upkeep. Uh, where? When is the discard? Ooh, I just picked up Storm of Spirits. Um, at the end of this phase. So now I do discard. Yeah. And I will probably discard. The blind, uh, the ineffable truth. Am I ever gonna play you? Yeah. Because you are, because right now you're in a position where I feel like you can use this to evade, since you're already taking up slots with empower. So yeah, you should probably just stack it. Like yeah, that. I'm gonna discard ineffable truth. Okay. Cool. All right. All right. So uh, we are going to put the doom up. That's three of five. And we're going to do some bad cards. All right. Surge. Uh, shuffle any amount of cards from your hand back into your deck and draw an equal amount of cards. For each card you did not shuffle back, you'll lose one resource. Ooh. A couple good ones in there. Um, Ooh, this is like... Well, you could shuffle... You could keep just the blinding light to have it against Bandersnatch. Right. Obviously, there's some other good ones in there, but you'll you potentially could be drawing them back too. So, so if I keep one card, I'm going to lose one resource, right? Yes. Or what you could do is you could keep three cards and have the bellman take that hit for you. I might do that. Um, do I want Storm of Spirits? So I think that's going to be good. Probably not. Nah. Like I don't think I don't think it's worth like losing yeah. the resource for like if you're gonna keep stuff in your hand i would say probably like the blinding light the mystifying song for sure yep i don't know what you want the third one to be either the if you want consistent evade go with the empower self i'm gonna keep want, those like, three the empower self the blinding light and the mystifying song okay. all right uh and then i'm gonna put um the the uh, on the bellum in there okay so i'll spend him and put two yeah cool um, and so what has, do I, do I shuffle them into my deck first? Yeah, I do. It's not like Mulligan. Yeah.
Oh. I shuffled four cards, Eight. right? Uh, I think it was five cards, because you were at your max, right? Or yes, I was at my what, max, yeah. What, yeah. Alright. Um so do, but I got my I got my boy. Love that guy. Yep. <laughs> this is awesome. Okay, well him being out while you have misfying song in your hand is pretty good at least. Yeah, that's true. Alright, this thing has um surge, so I'm gonna have, I have to surge. <laughs> All right, whiffling through the wood, revelation. If the Jaggerbrock is in the in the victory display, whiffling through the woods gains surge. Otherwise, if the Jaggerbrock is out of play, put it into play at your location. If the Jaggerbrock is already in play, deal one damage and one heart to all investigators at a location at his location, then move it to your location. Ugh. All right, so Jabberwock is now on my location. Yeah, that's a little that rough. Sucks. I'm sorry. Okay. The Duchess, oh hey. The cancel the first cultist token. Dude, that's sweet. Nice. Something of dissonance. I do not control any clues, so this game's surge. Um, this thing again. I really, really, really need to not fail this yeah. thing. This is extremely important. Um, I'm probably just going to have to pitch my U catastrophe to it. Because that's... two icons that'll put me up to the issue is, is i also have the cheshire cat who's being a real yep sure. yeah he's a bad cat right now i'm actually gonna pitch three icons to it because i cannot afford to have this go off okay i will I, it will be really bad so i'm gonna pitch three foot icons to it okay so i'll be a six that is a two six. minus two means I succeed by one, right? That means you succeed by one. Oh my god. You automatically fail and you flip the cat. I draw a card. Yep. Um, so this now is in play. And this is really, really, really bad for me. Okay. That's what it is, I guess. Huh? So wait, wait, oh hold on. God. You catastrophe. You 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 played it or you just pitched it? Pitched it. Okay. Because I didn't have the money to play got it. Or it I got would've. it. Got it. I absolutely would have. Damn. Because of how important it was. Um. Yeah. Not remembering that bellman for me that first turn was really bad. Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, this is really awful. All right. So I got um, I got some things I need to evade here. Um. Yeah. Go ahead. The the uh, the old Jabberwock. Ugh. I need to evade. He's at a three, and the the banner snatch need to evade. He's at a three as well. Yeah. Yeah. And you can't just walk out of here because you get hit twice by the Jabberwock if you do. Okay. So do I? So you're saying I cannot blinding light the Jabberwock? Yeah, you can. Oh. Why couldn't you? Oh, I thought that was... Oh, no, I couldn't evade... I couldn't use it on something that was on you, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You couldn't use... But this is... He is on you. Yeah, yeah, So, yeah. the thing is, he's going away either way. Um, so, you're not trapped here, but... Uh, I mean, it feels like the worst thing is the Bandersnatch, because they both hit for the same amount. Yeah. However, the Jabberwocky will go away. Right. Right, um, and then if I do damage on the banner snatch, then at least like he's like that much closer to dying. Yeah. Okay. I cannot believe I got. It. Um. And because I'm doing an evade, I don't get hit with an active opportunity, right? Yes. Okay. Correct. So I'm gonna spend a buck. We're gonna do blinding light on Mr. Banner Snatch right here. Uh, I'm gonna use okay. a head instead of foot, which I am a five to a three. Uh, if I succeed, I deal two damage to him. A five to a three. Do I want to pitch anything to this? No, I don't. It's kind of scary. Um, I can ignore that. No, five to a three is still the best for it. And I don't exactly want to spend more money on this. But we've been getting a lot of minus fours, dude. Yeah. 
I'm just gonna do it. It's a, it's a five to a three. Okay. Uh, cultist, uh, but oh. the Duchess cancels the token. That's... Do not reveal another token. Discard the Duchess. Okay. Right, well, that's, that's sweet. And it cancels the token, meaning it doesn't pop the other negative side effect of blinding light. Of blinding light. Thank, thank goodness. That's awesome. All right, so that gets invaded. Two. Um, um, now I have two more actions left. I can attempt to evade this thing at a three to three, which seems pretty bad. So he has. Yeah, I mean, you could pitch the copy of the empower cell. But then, I know, dude. You won't. It's rough. Later. Uh, and because of the Griffin and the Mock Turtle, if I just leave, I'm gonna get hit for two and two. <laughs> yeah. So that's not really a yeah. thing. I might try um, to evade it. Oh, do I just pitch it? It's it's the alert that I'm worried about for you. Yeah, the alert, I know. If you want the alert, I would say just go for it twice and then whatever. You take the hit once. Um, oh boy, I don't know, man. This is yeah. This is I'm gonna I'm gonna evade it uh, and pitch empower self. So I'm a five to a three on this. This is gonna be bad. Minus one. We got it. Oh my god, dude! I That's was you. really scared about that. Last action. So you don't want to walk in here. Oh. Right? I just That's right. He's realized. in here. So he this is going to go away. Um can you equip something? No. No. I can equip my lantern, but then I want to keep a buck around for water protection. <laughs> okay, well you'll have the buck around for water protection from upkeep. Right. So you could put out the lantern, and then that'll be on-demand damage, too, if you need it. Yeah, okay. Let's do the lantern, then. Um, okay. How much doom is happening on this? Uh, on this, We have it three or five. Yeah, if you bear insomnia right now, it, it pushes. I think you might have to wait. I have to wait until the next act, I think, or the next uh, agenda. Yeah. That's it. That was my turn. Okay. Evade, so, evade, lantern. <laughs> I um. I I really really hate to have to do this, but I think I am going to have to provoke an attack of opportunity to get rid of Looking Glass Swarm. No, if I do that. Oh yeah. Then I could vicious blow. I hate this. I really hate this, but I have to do this. This card right here was it was the worst possible thing for me to to get right now. Yeah. So I have to. Spend two actions to get rid of it, triggering attack of opportunity, which would put me at one, five, and one. No, you're going to get hit twice for the act of opportunity for the griffin. Oh, right. Yeah, think about this right. again. I can't do that then. Yeah, you'll die. I cannot believe the RNG that we're getting right now. I know. Okay, and um, I guess I just swing at it three times and hope I don't miss. Oh my god, dude, yeah. I have good odds. I have really good odds. Yeah, you are so a plus three, so you're a seven, a seven to three, with yeah, so good I'm, cat. I'm up for good cat. So one minus four, minus so four. success. Two minus three, success. Minus three. three, a star. And a star. Um, so let me double check how this works. I was like, I was like, there's an order of opportunity or order of uh, action here. <laughs> Yeah, if the test is successful, return it. So the test is successful. Oh, it, and since the test is successful, he gets defeated, and then you can return something. That's what I can't remember. I, I can't remember if that's at the point the test is successful. Because something being successful isn't the same thing as applying its success. Mm. I think I might not be able to get something I back. From how I I'm reading know. it, I feel like you can get something now. Be you know what? Somebody can yell at us later on YouTube. Like, I'm taking this right here because I'm not going to take the time to go look it up. Yep. I know it's in the rule book. I'm going to have to dig a little bit to find it. But I am going to just say that this works because the Graveyard Ghouls died in time. Yeah. Um, and then I am going to take back 
Love my oh. my. What do I want to take back? Probably my U catastrophe because it's two icons. Okay. Thank you so much for the resub Xbox. Okay. Done. She heals one. Okay. I cannot believe. I can't believe this. Okay. All right. Um. All right. Enemy phase. Um. This guy readies. That guy moves. So this is the problem. I'm gonna get hit for one right now. That's fine. Yep. This is the thing. If this thing hunts on me, and I didn't have this, I'd be super happy. I can kill it. I'd have three chances to swing at it and just hit it. Yeah. That's no problem. The problem with this thing is, and the mock turtle is, I can't take a hit. I mean, I can lose Jessica and take the double attack opportunity one time. Yep. But like, I don't think I can afford to have it go on you because you die. So I guess I just take it, and. I mean, I mean, you could have it go on me. Um, you know what? What we needed to do, what I needed to do, what I needed to do is this. I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to retcon my turn, or we're gonna lose. I'm going to take the attack of opportunity twice and hear the stupid mock turtle on Griffin. I'm going to take one and one on me and one and one on Jessica, and she's gonna have to die. Okay. I don't like this at all. Yeah. For the record, I think it's really, really, really bad. Okay. But if not, I'm in a spiral of not being able to do anything as my job as a fighter. So, then, now, I'm just going to... Um, Wait, go so you're redoing and... your turn, which means your graveyard ghouls are still back out. Right, but I'm, I'm just going to swing at them. I can draw another token again. It doesn't matter because they were all plus fours. Yep. I just need to hit it once now instead of twice because... Well, I guess I need to hit it. I needed to hit it two times. The, the numbers were exactly the same, right? Yeah. Oh, I couldn't hit it two times though because that was two actions. Okay, so I had to put it. You had to put blow. a vicious blow. You don't have the U catastrophe. Yep. I don't. Well, uh, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't have the U catastrophe. That's fine. That's fine. So I kill it there, which then um, does would let me play something with my discard. I don't have the money, and then I'm done. And because if I don't do this, we lose. Right. 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 <laughs> okay. All right, that was a little bit um, of a rewind, everybody, but uh, I think you understood what what we had to do there. We've been ha we it's it's been a bad it's been a bad uh, RNG day for us. Um, yes. So now the Jub Jub Bird. Oh, it did go on her. No, the Jub Jub Bird now has to go on to me instead of her. Yep. Okay. All right. So then now we go to this. He goes away. Yep. This thing ready and hops on you, and we let this thing walk down to me. Yeah. What a nightmare. Okay. Yeah. It really is a nightmare. Uh, so then now we upkeep. Upkeep. Ugh. All right. Four out of five on the old uh, the old doom, and now we're gonna do some bad cards. And I got a, a Momrath, 2-3-2, two, two, Retaliate. If there's a horror on the Momrath's location, it gets plus two fight and one horror, which it does. Um, I needed to draw that, not you. Uh, I could I could ward this thing, right? No. It's not a treachery. Oh, uh, it's not a treachery. It. Right. Okay, sweet. Okay, here's my encounter card. Oof. Look at the dodo card surges so now the next skull we have is a ten. Yep. I play test mine three. It gets plus one. If Jabberwock So Jabberwock not in play. If you fail, take a horror, discard two cards from your hand. So if you fail take this test, die. you're gonna die. So I put in guts, which puts me at five. Five to a three. And then heroic. Put another one in. Yep. Six to a three, you're up three. With good cat. All right, pass. Pass, which then triggers my guts. I get chronophobia. Sweet. So I'm going to die. So place, yeah, at the end of your turn, take, oh my god. Yep. Oh my god, really? I have to now evade this and then do that twice or I lose. Oh my god. Thank you so much yeah, for the raid, the whole card. You've, you've come in at a really weird time for us. <laughs> 
I'm just in this horrible spiral of, of just drawing a chain of, of, of lemony snickets. Yeah. Um, okay. All right, it's our turn. Oh. It's our turn. I guess I can... Uh, I mean, it's not like you can help me anyway. No, I can't. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm stuck with a Bandersnatch and this stupid Momrath. This is the stupidest thing I've ever seen. Um, I have to say this, and I have to pass, or I die. Yeah. I have to. So that means I get to pitch these two cards. What are you, what are you doing right awful. now? You're just punching this guy? <laughs> no, I have to evade him. I specifically have to evade him, so I have two actions left in front of me. Oh, him. okay. I, it's literally my only choice, or I die. All right, so so you are up so another good. two, so you're a five to a three on the evade. Yep. Here we go. A skull, uh, which is a tentacle. Which is a tentacle because of the dodo bird. Yep. So that's an auto fail. Yep. Uh, eleven uh, Cosma, eleven. We're playing um, Arkham Heart SCG. Tap its foot. Yep. Um, I get to draw a card. I, uh. <laughs> you have two more actions, yeah. And if you don't get rid of chronophobia, you're gonna die. If you get rid of chronophobia, you're gonna get hit for one and one. Mm -hmm. The dodo gets discarded. So then, what is the best thing I can do before I die? Because that's what's happening. There's literally nothing I can do about it, and I don't believe there's anything you can do about it. Tell me. Um, um, hit this thing once, twice. I guess I can. Can you to can you um, exhaust your time worn brand, destroy him, and bury him deep? <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I can. No. Uh, yeah, I won't be able to draw the cards off it because it's not a lead. But I'll exhaust my time worn brand and attempt to bury him deep. Minus four. Um, minus. Four. I definitely have enough because that's four plus my mind, so it's another three. Yep. So seven. Um, wait. Wait, no. It's not enough. Oh wait, wait. wait. You have good cat. You have good cat. The cat. I thought it also was enough to give me my mind value. Yeah. Or I would have pitched the scene of the crime. Yeah. Oh, well. It's okay. Good cat. Um, I kill him and bury him. Okay, great. <laughs> so we yeah. got one XP. Yeah. Okay. And now it's, it's the uh, end of your turn and you just die? Um, yeah, my turn ends. Oh my god. I take a direct horror and I die. All right, everybody. Chronophobia. Uh, at the end of his turn, he takes direct horror. He has no more horror threshold anymore, so he goes insane. Leaving me alone. Um, and now <sighs> I am alone here in the Wabe. And I'm finding this Momrath and uh, Bandersnatch. Uh, it's not looking good. I'm not a fighter. Um, and I got stupid Baron Samaday here. So when I get hit, I get hit for another one. I guess I could have resigned, but then I would have taken one. You would have taken one and one. You would have gotten that anyway. I mean, you could yeah. choose to do well, that if you want to. Um, I got one less. I got one less. Yeah. Like, physical trauma instead so yeah no this was right i have no way to just punch things do i i can do oh, one I damage you bad no oh, I, oh. <laughs> your gift to me is bad cat okay yeah yeah that's my gift to you okay i'm going um, to try to um it's plus two fight plus one horror great i'm going to try to evade the mom wrath what am i even trying to do i have to evade both of them and run away so you have damage of some kind. I mean, you have one damage from land. Yeah. But that's not enough to it's kill. It's not kill either. Um, and I don't have anything in my hand that does damage. I did. I used to have the Abyssal Tome and the Storm of Spirits. I got rid of it in that stupid shuffle. Yeah. Yeah. The Storm of Spirits. Yeah. Yeah. Right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to attempt to evade this stupid thing. It's three to a two. It's not great. Now I don't have my Empowered Self anymore. Nothing to pitch but the stargazing. That's is this is awful. Oh, it's so bad. This is uh, I'm like I, I want to say I'm sorry, but like really my only mistake 
was the fact that I didn't remember that that guy could have saved me two dollars. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I know. Yeah, that, was, that guy and, only saved me two dollars. Yeah. Yeah, that would have allowed me to play my catastrophe, which would have stopped that giant snowball. Right. I would have had my weapon two turns earlier. All right. Yeah. All right. I gotta do this. I gotta. I gotta. I gotta. All right. Moment wrath. I'm gonna evade. I'm a three to a two. I just have to do it. Let's okay. see. Zero evaded. Sweet. All right. What are the chances I could do that again? Um, I feel like I have to evade you. This is my whole life now. It's, yeah. it's pretty awful. Yeah, it is. I'm a three it's to a like... three. Um, I'm going to pitch stargazing. I'll make myself a four to a three and just go for it. The evade. Uh, elder thing, minus two. So, uh, I'm minus one overall, so I fail. Okay. And, uh, action. last action. Wait, wait, wait. You could just resign. Oh, my. I mean, I don't know if it's better. I don't know. I mean, there's, I just feel like there's no way to for me to win without you because. No, no, no. Well, all the enemies came out. Yeah, yeah. All those came out, and I I was broke. It how many to not be broke. Yep. I'm gonna. I guess I'll resign. Oh my gosh, this is the first time we've ever yep. done something like this. You no, know, because this was, and we're playing on normal too. Yeah. Like little new babes. All right. So uh, everybody here on the agenda says take one physical trauma and one mental trauma. Resign. You break away from the search and hope to find a trail out. Um, that's what we're discussing right now. Whether or not I just sort of forfeit going i mean we're on the second agenda we didn't even we're still on act one nothing um with all the hunters that are in play i'm basically going to do a a two evade and a move every turn i have to like nail it every time um just and just nothing. to advance locations um yep so i think i'm going to take the physical oh my god am i so it's a physical and mental trauma yeah, it's the most intense resign there can be. So I'm going to start games with five and five. Yeah, oh, it's it's awful. I mean, you don't have to do it. You can keep trying. I don't know if that's worse than... I, I mean, I guess the other option is you can just try to die to a mental trauma or something, one or the other. Right. However, what my thought here is, is us resigning this way might be better than us dying i don't know i don't the fact that this is like an option yeah that's what i'm thinking too because if because like the fact that you died so early and it's looking like i might die as well it's like yeah it's like the option for the story it's like we could either because i could see it being like we get lost in these woods forever right like that be the resolution and then our campaign ends here or i can take the physical mental trauma and find a way out like and then, like, we survive for another scenario. So, knowing this game and, and feeling that we could be trapped in this, like, tangled, you know, you know, bramble forest forever, I'm going to take the physical and the mental trauma. I'm going to get the, get the, the heck out of here. And I'm going to drag your body with me. Your insane, insane body. That's what we're doing. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, sorry guys. I remember this being a pretty cool episode when you get to play it. <laughs> I gotta I, say, we both had um, really, really bad starts. Very slow. Um, yeah. I, I mean, I I would have been fine if I had that money. It, it was and it, it, that card that prevented me from doing damage started the death spiral yeah. too. Like it, it continued it. I can. I mean, I could. I'd have to go back and like yeah. watch this. But I can say confidently that if I went back and I got that that two dollars i think things would have been a lot that's better. true that's true you catastrophe is is that good of a card um ah man yeah. all right uh before resolving any other resolution if no resolution we reach and at least one investigator was defeated um no that's not what we need right oh no i i was defeated I but was which defeated. which resolution do we do if why if we resign well, it, well, we before resolving any other resolution, no resolution was reached, and at least one investigator was defeated. So that's true. No other resolution was reached, and one investigator was defeated. 
Oh, so you you read this, yeah. The read defeated this. investigators read this <laughs> first, yeah. And so badly beaten and half mad, you stumble deeper into the Tulgi woods. Even now, more lost than before, you hope that you can last out the night before the shadows close in on you. Moments pass fearfully until you spot movement out of the corner of your eye. At first, the form looks like one of the shadows, but as it grows closer, there can be no doubt. It's a snark. You start to call for the hunters when you notice a hint of malice in the creature's eyes. The bellman didn't mention anything like this about the snark. You rapidly rack your brain until you recall a common about something called a boojum. From what the hunters discuss, it's a creature that resembles a snark, but should you meet it, it will softly and suddenly vanish away. You look up and realize too late that it's a boo. Each investigator who is defeated is killed. If there are not enough investigators attending the campaign, the campaign is over. And the oh my lose. god. Um, if at least one investigator resigned, and if the Jabberwock is not in the victory display, we skip to burbling into the night. So we'll have to talk about what happens with with. Um, I think you might. Are you drafting a brand new new investigator for our next scenario? <laughs> I guess that's yeah. the question. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get it Okay. Out. All right. So let's go into burbling into the night okay. here. Okay. Uh, burbling into the night, uh, the vile creature relentlessly attacks both you and other hunters throughout the wood. Try as you might, you simply cannot find a pattern to its attacks, nor pin it down for any decent length of time. The Jabberwock seems to have a particular hatred for the blade that the Bellman uncovered, striking at your sword arm each time it ambushes you. In desperation, in, desper ugh, in desperation, to avoid becoming another victim, you throw down the strange sword and the Jabberwock seizes it at once. It focuses its attacks on the blade as you flee to a safer distance, only turning around once you hear the snap of shattering metal. With a roar of triumph, the, the monster vanishes once more into the night, leaving you to nurse your wounds with, uh, with the few members of the expedition who survived its fiery wrath. In your campaign log, record that the Jabberwock still haunts the Tulgy Wood. Um, if the investigators reached a resolution, proceed to that resolution. Otherwise, go to resolution one. So we just go to resolution one because we resigned. <laughs> Resolution 1. Regrets fill your mind as you flee the Tulgy Wood. You're frustrated by fleeing the woods ungracefully, by not catching the snark, and by even joining the hunt in the first place. The echoes of the other hunters gradually reaching their own ult untimely and uh, reverberates between the trees. Each short series of shouts and shrieks and inevitably, ugh, inevitably ends in a sudden silence. The distant sound of the bellman's ringing is the last thing to fade into night, bringing an end to the disastrous expedition. You take only a few steps more before a rushing sound of air builds uh, behind you. You, in turn, uh, you turn in dread to see a blanket of darkness sweeping over the forest, extinguishing every speck of light in its path. Not wanting to strain your luck any farther, you break into a sprint. Your own light, f uh, your own lights flicker, and you begin to fade as you keep just ahead of the advancing wave. Step by step, you maneuver over the rough terrain, daring not to look back again until a ray of morning sun blinds you suddenly. You collapse down in confusion and exhaustion, expecting the worst, but the wave of darkness has receded once again. Uh, in your campaign log, record that the Snark and its hunters were never met with again. And uh, each investigator earned experience equal to the victory X value of each card in the victory display. That's one, <laughs> I believe. <laughs> I think so. I, I, I mean, there is actually a small chance that because I died... It like left at the victory display, but I yeah. I hope not. We're okay. gonna say no. Uh, check the campaign log. If the investigators went down the rabbit hole, which we did, we proceed to the interlude. Humpty Dumpty. All right. Humpty Dumpty. Uh, another obstacle blocks your passage through Wonderland. This time in the form of a vast brick wall. It stretches towards the horizon in either direction, making you doubt if a uh, way around it, uh, if a way around it exists. Climbing doesn't seem to be an option either, as it stands at the height of a house without possible footholds. Exasperated, you begin walking its length in hopes of finding any kind of door or passage through. Some distance down the wall, you spot a rotund figure perched atop it. As you draw close, the silhouette of an egg with legs grows clearer. You doubt your own eyes for a moment, but who else could it possibly be but Humpty Dumpty from the old nursery rhyme? He sits atop a wall with his eyes closed and his fists on his chin, or at least the part of his body that passes for his chin, in deep thought. You call up to him, but he hisses down at you. Don't speak, move away, or you might bring the, uh, bring the end about quicker. Humpty spits at you, trying to remain oblivious to you. You insist in confusion, uh, and finally looks down at you with a mixture of annoyance and dread. Now you've done it. I was safe while I was in deep ponderance. 
You question whether the word means what he thinks, uh, and he shakes his head, or himself rather. When I use a word, I, I mean it means precisely what I wish it to mean. Otherwise, what good would it be? You decide not to press him on that point and ask again about the end he mentioned earlier. The end, don't you see? The others may not see it, but surely you, uh, you can. I can recognize one of Alice's ilk when I see one, not from the Wonderland at all. You know as well as I that this land is but a dream, and I, drawn from a sad and dismal tale, am doomed to a grav... Uh, gravitic fate you begin to see Humpty's worries sat on the wall had a great fall couldn't be put back together again you assert that the children's story and existence are two separate things when his expression only grows darker it's no use the printed word is my fate and that's the end of it it's simply my means to an end and has always been Humpty's stare grows unfocused and he begins to wobble atop the wall the investigators must decide choose one you are you're only locked into fate if you choose to accept it proceed to unpredictability your fussing is only making it worse for yourself. Uh, skip to inevitability. Um, hmm. Let's see. Uh, let's listen. Your fussing is only making it worse for yourself. We're going to inevitability here. <laughs> I just don't know where we're going anymore in this story. Uh, fussing, Humpty screeches. It is factually reasonable to fear doom from this height suppose i wobble further like this he rocks himself from side to side to prove his point making himself more unsteady as he does or go back forward like so he tilts out over the wall and back as if, um as he further demonstrates his fear you try to get humpty to stop his hyperbole but he doesn't listen at all it's vital for both of us that you understand the peril i could find myself in and if you don't believe me then humpty stops mid-sentence he realizes wild rocking has upset his balance completely he claws at the bricks in the moment of panic but it's no use to stop from careening over the edge you try to help break his fall but his wild earlier emotions send him on a strange trajectory humpty's wail of terror ends abruptly as his body crashes onto the ground shattering like a vase you shake your head at the egg's short-sightedness and look over his remains. Uh, it would be impossible task fitting him back together, and whether or not that would actually revive him is anyone's guess. There isn't much you can do now but press on and hope that Wonderland's other inhabitants will be more open to reason. In your campaign log under Wonderland Banes, record Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> Each investigator earns one bonus XP as he or she has gained some insight into the psyche of Wonderland's citizens, so two overall. And you add the uh, tablet to the chaos bag for the rest of the campaign. And then we get guidance from Alice. So, with the matter of Humpty Dumpty behind you, the problem of the wall remains. The wall might very well be infinite. If Alice's dreams are, and without so much as a tree to use in scaling the wall, you'll have to double back and find another way. Before you can act, however, the sound of scraping bricks meets your ears. You scan the wall for the source of the sound, but you can't pinpoint it. Upon closer expansion, the entire wall seems to be trembling slightly. A, trem a tremendous rumbling begins to sound through the bricks, and you take several steps backward, looking down to either end of the wall. The top layer of the wall rises like a wave, and the ripple of displaced masonry works down from either end, looking to meet, uh, looking to meet up at your spot. You leap backward even further as the bricks collide with a crash, and a cloud of powdered mortar obscures your vision. The dust settles quickly in the silence of the aftermath, and the wall before you has been cracked at the top, with loose bricks now forming a rough ramp upward. Once again, you can only attribute such swift and dramatic existence as Alice's influence on her own dreams, helping you to guide you along. With another obstacle eliminated, you climb the mound of debris and easily pass through the fissure in the brick wall. Check campaign log. If you went down the rabbit hole, which we did, go to scenario 2, E-Sibling Rivalry. All right, we have some decisions to make. I have two XP. Matt is dead. Um, what what uh, what have we done in previous things? What did we do in Carcosa with with old uh, Joey Joey Diamond? I just got a fresh character and had to uh, do it. You know, the official rules are you come back in, you have zero XP, and you just make a make a new character. So that's. That's how it would go. That I guess we just assume that whoever I pick somehow also got pulled into Wonderland and was wandering about until. What about the ready. two XP that we just got now? Do you get to use at least the two? No, no, I wasn't present to gain experience during this this situation. My new character is somewhere else. Okay. So no. All right. So let's uh, let's jump let's jump to um, hold on. We are going to, we're going to get here. All right. 
Um, I'm going to do my upgrade really fast, and then we'll, we'll draft you a new character at random. Um, since, okay. since I have my 2 XP. Okay. Let's see. What am I? Who am I? I am Marie Lambeau. We want to do the most recent taboo list. Upgrade. Four cards to select from. We have 2 XP. Simple draft. Uh, let's high XP nice. rating <laughs> with the two. <laughs> I like it. Let's see what we get. All right. We got a Empower Self. I can't grab that anymore. Uh, the Abyssal Tome. I can get another one of these. Uh, a Time Warp Fast. Play immediately after an investigator at your location and finish resolving an action during his or her turn. Undo that action. Return the game state to exactly the way it was before the action was performed. Uh, interesting. Or the Gaze of Orash. Reveal seven random um, chaos tokens from the chaos bag. Deal a total of one damage plus one additional damage for each oh, curse or tentacle. Okay, I'm not going to grab that. Not going to grab the power self. Not going to grab the, the Gaze. Um, I already have an Abyssal Tome, which I've not been able to play yet. Um, if I grab it, I have. I already have five things in my hand. If I grab another Abyssal Tome, I'd probably lose the Sword Cane, but the Sword Cane actually has been pretty helpful. Yeah, it's not bad. I might just not take anything and bank 2 XP. Okay. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to take any of this. I'm going to bank the two. Um, Matt is going to have to start from scratch here. This is going to be very interesting. Arkham Librarian in chat says, I'll miss Yorick. Uh, yeah, alas, poor Yorick. Um, just just I, uh, an untimely end. <laughs> it's been sad. It's been really sad. Okay. All right. We're going to say recent taboo list. Um, we are going to do simple draft, right? Uh, drafting myriad cards adds three. And you have three cards to choose from, right? Um, yeah, that's what we did before. Then yeah, yeah, let's do it. All right, and then we're gonna do. Now, how did I put this in? Like, how did I? How did I save this last time? So basically, oh, oh, what yeah, happened was I downloaded the file and I sent it to you. Gotcha. Okay. okay. All, right. All right. So here we go. I'm going to hit random. You are Safina Rousseau. Have you played her before? Because we said that we were not gonna repeat a character. Not on the stream. No. Safina Rousseau is awesome. She's also very difficult to make work okay and draft this is going to be extra fun okay so i'm genuinely sorry about this um i'm basically another caster <laughs> so uh her her deal is she's green but her off class is purple remind me i guess let me see her let me pull up her player card because I, i'm trying to remember her uh before we start this i want to make sure oh yeah 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 hold on hold on um because her deal is she starts with a, a big hand size she starts with um uh, basically, you start with 13 cards. But five of them go underneath you as events. Are you sure you didn't um, play her on stream? Did I? This choose five events thing seems very familiar to me. Like, put them under her? Yeah, and you have it, it's I? like the painted world, right? Is her thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so then, yeah, never mind. Let's pick someone else. Okay. I forgot I did play Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Good. Finn, Finn Edwards. Okay. So Finn is really, really good at discovering clues. So that's great for us because we already have somebody good for discovering yeah. clues. Yeah. So let's do it. Like he sucks at fighting. I'm excited. Yeah. So here we go. Are you ready? Okay. <laughs> yep. Okay. Finn Edwards, you uh, you can choose research librarian. Look what I found in fingerprint kit. Okay. Let me double check how many cards I'm going to get. So zero to five cards from Seeker or Survivor. Okay, so I'm going to get five cards here. Um, my stats are one, four, three, four. With this situation here, if that's good, that's two more. Oh, God. Um, let's go with... <sighs> yep. Sorry. So I can get, I get a free action every turn that's only used for evading. Man, this is this is bad. 
I guess let's go with look what I found. Look what I found? Okay. All right. Leather coat, mantle, dexterity, and narrow escape. Um, yeah, that's right, Vulps. <laughs> he sucks at fighting. I'm looking forward to this. <laughs> narrow escape. Narrow escape. All right. Token of faith, belly of the beast, baseball bat. I think I have to take baseball. I think you have to take the baseball bat too. I don't think I you have, have a choice. <laughs> yeah, I agree. <laughs> Moonstone, Switchblade, a chance encounter. Okay, so there's no way I'm gonna go and get to play Moonstone like with him. Um, a chance encounter. I think I guess. I guess I go Switchblade. Oh my god, dude! So I some more weapons, yeah. like. I'm not good at fighting things. Yeah. But I'm just going to. Uh, lab um, assistant working a hunch and burning the midnight oil. Uh, burning the midnight oil. That's the seeker equivalent to uh, to clean clean out his fight. clocks. <laughs> yeah, to clean out his clocks. <laughs> um, let's go for... Uh, oh, God. Do I just want card draw and soak? And working a hunch is just better. I guess I'm just gonna go working a hunch. Yeah, working a hunch is not bad. Better allies. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, zero cost, higher ed, a daring maneuver, and um, and uh, and this Gregory Gry. <laughs> Gregory Gry is the one that like really blows. Right? Yeah. So uh, when you a uh, reaction when you initiate a skill test, spend up to three resources. If uh, this test succeeds by at least that amount, gain that many resources. Man, this is a whole lot of garbage, dude. Yeah. Dairy Maneuver, I, I don't like. I think it's just like a bad card. It's for very specific builds. Higher Ed is just half dead for me. It is because you have a one mind stat. I guess I take Gregory to just have Soak. <laughs> he's not he, even that good Soak, but I guess I think no, you're right. He's, he's not. He's. I, I'm just gonna. I'm taking him. Okay. And maybe this is gonna be real funny. Up. All right, teddy bear, leather coat, and reckless assault. Oh boy! <laughs> oh boy, that's I guess reckless assault. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Plan of action: okay. lock picks, hiding spot. Um. I mean, Finn was made for lock picks, wasn't he? <laughs> yeah, he's made. Yeah, he was made for lock picks. Yep. So I gotta go for him. Okay. All right, Lantern, Tempt Fate, and Well Connected. Uh, I guess Lantern, so I can at least do some damage. Yep, there it is. <laughs> there it is. I got to tell everybody, um, we played with Slimpy offline once, and he had this deck where he was rocking Well Connected, which was very interesting. Oh, wait, no, no, that wasn't off stream. That was on stream. That was... Um, that was... Oh, no. Uh, what's the skid? Yeah, that was a Skid's yeah. O'Toole deck. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, so we took the lantern there. Um, cunning distraction, backpack, daredevil. So you discard a skill card, commit a skill test. Do I even have a skill card yet? I have reckless assault. Yeah, reckless assault. Yeah. I'm going backpack because I have some okay assets, I guess. Like I, mean, I don't like it, but I'm going. For yeah, it. yeah. No, I hear you. I hear you. Uh, you owe me one, preposterous sketches, and the old decorated skull. <laughs> Non-weakness card in their hand. See, you have a bunch of spells and stuff, which, like, isn't good for me either because my mind is one. Yep. Um, I guess preposterous sketches. Yeah, I think that one's okay. Uh, obfuscation, Mauser, C96, and Stealth. Mauser, so I have more combat. Yep, yep. Painkiller, Zechariah's Skull, Slip Away. Slip Away is also designed for him. That's an easy pick. Yep. That one's an easy pick. All right, another Slip Away, a forty-five Thompson. and They really want you to have this decorated Skull. <laughs> I know, I'm noticing that too, and it's pissing me off. I mean, honestly, considering you have no combat, I probably have to go with the Thompson. Yeah. I'm going to take it. Oh, my God, dude. Slip away later. Switchblade, yeah, switch, uh, swift reflexes, and tempt fate. 
I'm going to take... So the way I word it is I get a free evade during my turn, right? Not during the investigation phase. Uh, let's see. You may take an additional action during your turn, which can only be used to evade. Okay. Um, I'm going to take a swift reflexes. Okay, reflexes. Uh, All right, we're halfway through. We have pilfer, breaking and entering, and thermos. So both Pilfer and Ring Entering are made for him. He uses foot instead of book. Add your foot. So it's Ring Entering's better. Yeah, Ring Entering is better than Pilfer. Yeah, it also costs half as much. Yeah, let's go for that. All right, the Pilfer again, Unexpected Courage, and a Tennessee Sour Mash. Oh, boy. Um, Tennessee Sour Mash could be one of those things where it's like, it could maybe save me for a test, but I'm, that I'm going to probably fail anyway. Especially if we stay on normal, which you might have to now. Yeah, I think we're staying on normal. Unexpected is really good, though, too. My deck's already getting kind of expensive, right? Yep. Just give me unexpected. Yeah, this. I think the Tennessee Sour Mash, like, you, yeah, you're never going to pass a brain test to begin with. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, Knuckle Duster, I'm out of here, and Money Talks. Can we just take a minute to look at how horrible Knuckle Duster is? Uh, Knuckle Duster, two cost, uh, single-handed... Action fight. This attack deals plus one damage. The attack enemy gains retaliate. That's awful. You get no pump to your attack. You get no pump, and then he just he just hits you back. It's so bad. It's so 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 bad. Jeez, these are all absolute garbage for me. I'm not gonna be sitting on a bucket load of money. I guess I'm. I'm out, out of here. It gives you two foot icons. Yeah. Which, that's good on him, because I, I get that. Yeah, I, I'm going, I'm out of here, okay. no matter what. Like, they all blow, but that one, yeah. <laughs> um, all right, I mean, Streetwise, Hard Knocks, and Perception. This is tough. Yeah. Streetwise is obviously the one that's most him. But Hard Knocks helped me fight. Wow. Um... Yeah, Streetwise and Perception are actually the two that you'd want to take. Yeah. It, see, the, the thing is, is, like, the hard knocks, I'm tempted to take it so that maybe I can hurt something with my three punch. But that's just, like, a lot of money. It's a lot of money, and, and like, you you have to get, you got to pay for a lot of things. Yeah. I think I think I take the Streetwise because it's a decent pitch card, and I can play it for zero. Yeah, I think so. Uh there you go. Emergency cash, unexpected, dark ritual. Let's go emergency cash. Yeah. I need money back. I think that's an auto. Kukri, Faustian bargain, cunning. I do like the Faustian bargain, but it's a little scary adding the curses in there. <laughs> I, I mean, I think I need money. I think I have to go with that because Kukri sucks. Kukri is the worst. All right, let's go. Yeah. yeah. No, I think it's better than Knuckle Duster. Yeah. Barely. Okay. <laughs> I'll go Faustian. I'll go Faustian. Okay. Let's make a deal with the devil. All right, uh, card number twenty-one: follow, daring maneuver, or perception. So we're not gonna be leaving enemies half damage. Daring maneuver sucks, so perception. Perception. Okay. Follow doesn't feel like it's gonna do what we need it to do. Another lock picks hatchet man and a terrible kukri. Oh boy. So I mean, I wanted to say lock picks. Let me look at hatchet man again. Next time the enemy evade the enemy takes damage, deal it one additional damage. Man. I think I might have to take Hatchet Man for damage. Yeah. I'm gonna take Hatchet Man. I mean you could you could you could set you you could go first, set me up to punch him, right? <laughs> well I mean I can also hit him with one of my weapons yeah. too. Like I evade him, then hit yeah. him. I am so, actually really interested. I've always really enjoyed Hatchet Man as an idea. I know it's like it, it takes so much like setup, but in my head there was a really great deck that has Hatchet Man and Delilah O'Rourke in it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think it should have been two foot icons. Like that's what I feel like it should have been. Yeah, yeah. That would have been awesome. All right, Reckless Assault, Coup de Gras, and Decoy. I think I'm going 
coup de gras here. I think so too, especially with okay. ha now that you picked up Hatchet Man. <laughs> yeah, now that you picked up Hatchet Man, it's it's for guaranteed. <laughs> Green. Do it. Another Mauser, a cheap shot, and a reckless assault. Um. Huh. Cheap shot's interesting, because uh, now you're at a seven. I'm at a seven. The thing I'm still looking at is like combat wise, I have a garbage switchblade, a baseball bat, a Thompson, and one Mauser. I think I need one more Mauser. Okay. That's solid. I'm gonna say one more Mauser here. Yeah. Yeah. That's legitimate. Opportunist, crystallizer of dreams, and calling in favors. Okay, hold <laughs> and on. And calling me, okay. in Gregory so Gry. <laughs> calling in Gregory. Um additional cost to play this. Okay, so crystallizer, remember that. Face down after I play an event. I have 11 events. I think that this is a Crystallizer deck. This... I'm going Crystallizer. I don't have a next slot anyway. Yeah, you don't have a next slot. This could be cool. And I do have a couple cards that have um, double icons on them. I mean, one of them I can't use because I resign if I play. Oh, right, but, right. But yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's awesome. I actually really like it. Oh, there he is. Gregory Gry comes out again. There's so many good green allies yeah and it gives me a second gregory come on man <laughs> cheap shot and sleight of hand sleight of hand is actually really 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 good for me hold up that wasn't errated right it was errated um so this should be the is tabooed it? version the tabooed version be meaning um i think you can only do double or you can't do double-handed weapons with this so you okay. can't do the thompson okay. or the basil soul bat with it Right, it'd be the Mauser. Yeah, I was hoping if I could do that. Uh, see, that that makes it hard because that does eliminate the Thompson. Yeah, and let me just make sure on that. So sleight of hand. Yeah, because if it works with the Thompson for sure. Uh, the latest taboo oh, is this card's ability now reads: put a level yeah. zero to three item asset into play from your hand. Okay, so we're good. So it, so it works. It works. Oh, really? It's it's a level zero. It basically, you can't put like a level four or five like weapon to play. So yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay, slide of hand. Awesome. Sneak by lock picks and the derringer. You have three cards left. Man, I really want to take the second lock picks with a sneak by. Would allow me to put that on the crystallizer. It would give me a little bit of money. I'm going to take the sneak by. Sneak by is actually kind of cool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it works for with him. All right. So we lock have picks. decoy lock picks, painkillers. Yeah, I want a second lock, lock picks. Lock picks. There lock you picks. go. There you go. The auto pick. Faustian bargain followed and quick thinking. For your, Is Man. this your last card? Or your second last card? Uh, it says cards 29 to 30. So I think this is on my last. I don't know if it's my second to last. Yeah. Those are those are both good. both Faustian and Quick Thinking are good cards. Um, money wise, now would I have one Faustian and I have one um, Buckstown, uh, whatever it's called. Uh, emergency um, cash. The thing about Faustian is it actually can also be put under Crystallizer, and that and we both have expensive decks. Let's do it. Let's go double. Yeah, let's Faustian. do double let's Faustian, double. dude. We need we need the money. Okay, that's it, dude. Sick. All right, so you want to draw? We're gonna draw your random weakness, right? Let's do it. Let's let's just draw that bad boy. Self destructive. When you deal one or more damage to an enemy, you take a damage. Perfect, dude. Interesting. Oh my okay. god, just so perfect. Okay. <laughs> I like it. Um, wow, this is gonna be this is gonna be tough. I mean, we both, we should be scooping those clues, no problem. Yeah. No problem. But this is gonna be. All right. Well, York's dead to a Jabberwocky. <laughs> they think this is gonna step on in. Dude, this is this is sweet. This is really sweet. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> oh my. Oh my God! I lose out on the the things in my deck too. That executioner's axe. Oh, the and the strange refreshments. It, Man, that hurts. That, that does hurt. Mission, that really hurts. Really hurts. Well, we'll see how it goes. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hold on. Um, before I forget, I'm going to Yeah, give this to you via Discord. Boom, there you go. I just uh Discord DM'd you. There you go. 
Awesome. Okay. okay. Well, well, this was this is not how I thought this day was gonna go. Um, you know, we've been having very enjoyable Alice in Wonderland uh, scenarios, and that was like a very decisive like this. Like we got into that forest, and that forest was not gonna let us win. Was not gonna let us have an easy time. Uh, we had very slow starts. It was rough. Like we basically spent two turns each. Um, we spent two turns each just trying to set up, just digging through our decks trying to get stuff. Um, and the first act, our first uh, agenda was three Doom Threshold, and then you surged into a peril which you had to. So basically, it was two turns, and we and we already were in the next agenda. Um, and the Jabberwocky came out to play like immediately, and we both were unprepared for fighting. So. <laughs> It spiraled out of control after that. There was no was way weird. to recover. <laughs> yeah. No, it was, it was, I, I'm still reeling from it. I, uh, yeah. And even. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised you even got a Time Worn brand out. Like, <laughs> yeah, no, me too. I was like, all right, I got this. Maybe I can stabilize everything that I'm going to fight. I'm going to have like plus three or plus four on. Like, we, we can do this. We can get back in. And then that card, that, you can't deal more than one damage or take bigger more than one clue. It was like, oh, that was oh no. so bad for you, I'm like so bad. Um, especially because it's like, oh, we have the time more ram, but you can only do one damage at a time. Um, and I gotta say, this was the the first scenario in which we got so many of the the boons and the banes from Wonderland. So we saw the Griffin and the Mock Turtle, which was the the extra active opportunity thing, which was awful. Um, we got the Caterpillar, which was good, the Duchess, which was good, the Dodo, which was terrible. Um, so it's, it's like we were, we, we saw a lot of people from our past, <laughs> good and bad. <laughs> yep. Yeah, we sure did. We saw, yeah, <laughs> like everyone, everyone came to play tonight. Yeah, everyone did. Everyone did come to play. Oh my God. What, what a rough, rough one. It is like. We got wrecked. Um, I'm gonna make sure, Matt. Did you get Did you get the file? Yeah, I got it, and I have it saved. All right, cool, it's, cool, it's, cool. It's so, so this is gonna be really fun, everybody. We're gonna do the next scenario, uh, the next time we play, um, which is uh, I think we're planning on next Monday. Although, Matt, um, Chris was talking to me about maybe us doing a three-player versus Kirakin um, thing next Monday too. So, okay. So everybody, just assume we're gonna play Arkham next Monday, unless Chris's schedule changes and he can play with us on Monday. Uh, then we might do a three-player KeyForge thing. Um, we got. Ch I got to check out the mod myself to see see how it goes. But people are saying it's great. Um, it's up on TTS and it's great. Um, so there's that. Matt, do you have anything else to say before we sign off? <laughs> I'm just. I'm just grateful. Grateful to the bag, grateful to the deck tonight. Yes. Um, I'm just going to go to bed grateful. Yeah, just go to bed grateful. And everyone, um, please pour one out for your friend, Billy York, <laughs> who's, who was buried deep, buried deep <laughs> in the forests of Wonderland. <laughs> yeah. Yes, he was. Awesome. Um, awesome. I think, I think that's going to be it. Actually... Before we do, because it's like a little bit early, um, and I remembered because Dragon Cat said cheers over here, I am going to spin a couple wheels. This one is for Dragon Cat, then we got to spin one for Xbox Mayor. Um, and Matt did promise a couple weeks ago that if we get a bean for Chris, he's going to eat the hottest bean in his pack. Uh, and if, That'd and, be a perfect way to top off the night. Yeah, the way to top off the night. You know, might as well add insult to injury. So. There it is. This one is from Dragon Cat. Thank you so much for the resub, pal. I appreciate it. <laughs> if you're still watching on YouTube, uh, give us a like and subscribe if you like this awful, awful stuff that's happening to me. And there it is! Bean for Chris. So it's Bean for Matt. He's going to eat the hottest oh one. We will also spin the wheel for Xbox Mario. We'll see what happens. Maybe I'll have to do a bean as well. Volps is laughing. This was, Guys, this is not hacks. I can't control what happens on the wheel. <laughs> I think this should be it. This is it. Alas, poor York, and Matt's gonna get a really hot bean. Oh, I do get a bean for myself. So at least, at least we're done. The Carolina Reaper and the um, 
and the cayenne looks similar, but I think the cayenne's the dark one. Yeah. All right. Well, I, okay. I got me a, a tutti fruity or whatever stinky socks or something like that. All right, dude. Good luck. Thank you. Well, mine's uh, sugary sweet tutti fruity. It doesn't look like that's what's happening on your end. <laughs> No. Let <laughs> me a rough night. Out. Oh Jesus! I'm sorry to do that to you, man. I'm sorry. No, it's funny. <laughs> this, is, this is what I deserve. The spirit, the spirit of Billy wow. York. <laughs> I can tell it's gonna build too for a while. Like, I can tell this is going to be like a real, real sucky situation. <laughs> Dragon Cat, they don't taste great. Yeah. They don't taste, it's the heat's, the other one's heat's not a problem. The thing is, is that they translate a little bit of sweet in there. They translate some sweet in there, which isn't good. Yep. Um, flavor wise, man, I thought it'd be worse. Okay. I thought it'd be worse. If you thought it would, if it would be worse, then that actually doesn't seem that bad. It's yeah, doable. Yeah. It's doable. I do not believe that it is the same cobalt as a Carolina Reaper, but there's like heat waves blasting back through my jaw. <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to be riding that endorphin high. That's the silver lining here. <laughs> we're riding that endorphin high. And it's going to feel great, guys. Feels great now. William York sucks. Carolina Reaper sucks. Nice. Arkham sucks. <laughs> Everything sucks. <laughs> it rules because it sucks. All right. You. And I think with that, we're going to let Matt go so he can maybe drink some milk or something like that. Good night, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Bye. 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 <laughs>